So I just made a video. It took me about four hours to make. Um, talking about hooks, the big easy, and a little bit of flipping. What my setups are, what I like to use, what kind of works for me, and what I've been thinking about switching up and using. Let me know if you guys have some different opinions. This video might not be for most of you. A lot of you guys know a lot more than I do, but this is just what I've been kind of tinkering around with. So any kind of comments would pretty much help out me and anybody else reading it. Thinking about my hook sizes and my hook size choices, does it matter specifically on like a big easy and little easies and easy swimmers? Can I use a smaller hook on a bigger bait? Do the fish see these bigger hooks sticking out? These bigger bulkier hooks sticking out of the bait, you know? Catch him in these reeds. He's got a hole in his face. This one was caught recently. We do a lot of practice fishing with just the screw lock and it comes off of you can buy them in a package or it comes off of your basic swim bait hook so we fish with the screw lock a lot just like that and we get a lot of bites like this and I think it's because the hook isn't sticking out so I was thinking Instead of using like, this is when I'm using like the swim bait subsurface, you know, I'm using it subsurface, sort of open water and stuff in the sticks, what whatnot. Instead of using the 6-0 owner swim bait hook, instead of using that big thing on the Big Easy, I use like a 3-0 or a 4-0, a smaller swim bait hook on even the bigger Big Easy because they're coming up and you guys you guys know that they're kind of inhaling that thing anyway. They're getting the whole thing. So even a smaller profile will probably get some good bites subsurface. And buzzing it up top, it's going pretty fast. They don't see it. You're in heavy cover, so they come up for it anyway. But when you're under the water and, you know, the bite is pretty slow, you're trying to slow roll it, I'm thinking a smaller hook on that bigger profile bait. Even if you're throwing... If you're throwing like a, a little easy or an easy swimmer, I'm thinking of putting the TK-130 on that easy swimmer with the fluorocarbon and just slow rolling it. And then maybe get, I'll get some more bites having that small hook in there. Like you see in this video, Gio's catching them with this Gamagatsu swim bait hook, which is pretty thick wire. Chunker. Swallowed that slim easy. Damn. And then you got this EWG, your regular worm hook, which is it's a thinner wire. It's a pretty thin hook. And situation definitely does matter for the type of hook that you use. When you're flipping and pitching docks like I was doing on Osborne. I had this exact setup here, the EWG40, and I had a little easy, and I got two, three bites on it, the same fish, and I didn't hook up on them. I wasn't piercing the rubber, so I put like a thinner, pro a thinner profile bait, something with less rubber on it, less plastic, like a fluke or even the stick bait, and I paired that up with the right hook. And doing that made a big difference from getting a couple bites or not getting the fish at all. So hook size definitely matters. Sight fishing 101. Switch it up to the fluke. Again, and it matters in the situation. So you kind of got to get you kind of got to get out there and fine tune your tackle and stuff. But I'm thinking. Now, with our flipping setups, we got 6.0, 5.0, TK-135, you know, the heavy-duty stuff. And it's, it's kind of covering this 
almost this whole craw here, which also, and it kind of comes up to here. So when it's in the water, you know, you got it stuck in the back of the neck. So all your action is kind of right here. So then I'm thinking, not I'm thinking, if you use a smaller profile hook, instead of a 4.0, 5.0 on your creature, especially on the creature baits, like a 3.0, that still covers a pretty good amount of your craw, but you got some more action here. So here's how you catch a seven pounder in the reeds. You get a 7.8 heavy fast reed beater from Sanko Sticks. Set that up with a half ounce on a TK-130 with a Gambler Burner Crawl. The smaller hook will give you a little bit more action. It'll probably be a little less a little less visible to the fish underwater. It'll be a good choice when you're downsizing baits. As, as far as OG, legit, the real way to do it, buzzing the Big Easy on the surface, 50, 60 pound braid, a big, a big hook to go through the grass, through the hydrilla, through the cover, and into the fish's mouth with a screw lock and a gambler big easy on it. That's your OG. Don't do nothing else but run those two when you're fishing thick pads, thick cover, blown in, hyacinth and lily pads, kiss me grass, bull rush, all your slop. And we caught this big fish. Yeah, that's a real hog. Geo's using probably this exact same bait right here. The TK-135 crow car with a three quarter ounce. Crow car, TK-135, gambler, stinger. Friendly fire, catching giants on Okeechobee all day waiting for that bite. That's what I'm talking about. Hold it fishing up. Fishing the Bass Busters on that Senko Sticks. 7.6 heavy. Flipping that Senko Sticks. All right. Now I think hook size or thickness makes a big deal when it comes to what bait you use and what cover you're fishing out of. If you're fishing open water, oh, I actually. Now this is gonna make a big difference too. Where is it? All right, if you're fishing with fluorocarbon, you wanna use a lighter wire worm hook EWG or straight shank because if you use a thicker flipping hook with your fluorocarbon you might not be able to penetrate the fish so if you're using your thicker flipping hooks it's better to use that with braid and then you use your lighter wire kind of needle point hooks with fluorocarbon so you get more penetration two and a half pounder slow rolling the gambler and then gambler big easy on a shaky head the big hooks with with the big baits they might look better and be the right size 
but you'll also go through more plastic. Like if you're using like a big 5.0, if I use a big 5.0 or 6.0 TK-135 with my Yum Dingers or something, they're gonna get destroyed and they're just gonna get poked through and stuck in everything I flip into. So even with my stick baits, I kind of like to use like a smaller flipping hook or like a heavy duty straight shank. Flip the boat. 65 degree water temp. Help them grab it. Make sure it had it. Stuck them. 